Well, hello and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. It's a special quick edition where this is a surprise I talked about earlier on a couple of shows. Um, hey, check this out and I'll be right back to you. Well, a bit of a sad day today, but a happy day. Um, I'm moving on from the Nissan Leaf, and I'm here at a Nissan dealer who's actually purchased my Leaf. In fact, it's the same guy who sold it to me a couple of years ago. So I'm very happy that he's uh, wanted to buy it because I know that he's uh, very pro EV and he's gonna find a very good home for my 2018 Nissan Leaf. That's been fantastic to me, uh, but it's time to turn a page and move forward. All right, we're just gonna be heading out to go uh, pick up the new EV, and I just wanna give you a little bit of background. So. Uh, we're actually going to be trading in our 2014 Nissan Sentra here because we have a gas vehicle here in our daughter's uh, Versa Note, uh, the 2018 that we got for her about a year ago, a year old one. And our thought is if we crunch the numbers and we downsize from three cars to two cars, uh, then it makes sense for us to look at a longer range, bigger battery, electric, all electric vehicle than the Leaf was. As I mentioned, the Leaf has been a great vehicle for me, but it has its limitations in range. Even though right now I'm not doing a ton of driving because of work, but normally I do a lot more driving and I have a fairly big territory to cover in my job. So I've always thought about something that has more range, a bigger battery and all that good stuff. So uh, our thought is we're going to get rid of this car as well. So I'm going to follow my own mantra of getting rid of a tailpipe or, a, you know, one tailpipe at a time uh, education. Get rid of this car. We're going to go from three vehicles down to two vehicles and in the process again, get rid of a tailpipe. So once we crunch the numbers, it seemed to work, so let's go. Hope, try to guess what, what do you think uh, electric vehicle I'm gonna get? Well, let's go. All right, I'm here at the dealership. Have you guessed what I'm getting? Well, I might as well show you. All right, well, here's my new vehicle, guys. It's a uh, 2020 Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive. Uh, I wanted the long range, didn't really need the all wheel drive, but I'm getting it anyway. I really wanted the big battery, and that's what I got in this vehicle. Uh, just the basic package, pearl white, 18 inch wheels, no full self driving, just all the standard features, which is plenty for me. So, really looking forward to this. I've got a few things lined up that I'm going to do. I'm going to get the windows tinted next week, and then, as I mentioned, uh, I've got all kinds of uh, accessories that I'm going to put on this and I'll walk you through that. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick um, the, uh, overview on the delivery process. It was real easy. Just some paperwork to sign, which took about 10 minutes. Uh, it took me longer to actually put the front license plate uh, accessory, which I got from RPM Tesla. I bought that myself. The front plate, it took me a while to put that on, but I got it on. Uh, and then we just went through some of the features. Um, as far as imperfections go, uh, nothing. One small um, item that I pointed out that's that they'll say they'll cover if they need to, but it's not even really a big deal. It's a small alignment in the back trunk. Um, it doesn't really bother me, so I probably won't even get it done because it's gonna, it's gonna take a day to go somewhere and get it all done, so I probably won't even get it done. I'm very happy with the car. The fit and finish is uh, excellent. Everything is fine on this. We went through everything. So the delivery process is great. The guys here at Tesla know their stuff. Um, you know, even when I, we bought the car, so we purchased this at the end of J July, and at that time it was a five to nine week delivery. And as, uh, as I was waiting for the vehicle, I was getting text updates every couple of weeks or so from Tesla just saying, hey, your car's on track, it's still this. Uh, here are some of the pictures that you're seeing here on this. Uh, so at least I was being informed. And then my service uh, uh, consultant or my sales consultant here at, uh, from Sherway Gardens in Toronto, uh, he was really up to date and kept emailing me, letting me know what's going on. And as we got closer, in fact, my delivery was supposed to be for next week and they moved it up because the car came sooner, so which was excellent. So the communication was good. Uh, the, the contactless delivery, uh, basically we just chatted, everybody wears masks, they had sanitized the car. Uh, checked in on me so everything worked great so a very smooth process I probably took a little longer than most because I had a few more questions but um, all in all a very great experience and my hats off to the staff so I uh, hope you like my vehicle and uh, that's it I'm pretty happy and you'll see a lot more of it coming up uh, in my adventures well hope you enjoyed my uh, journey uh, into the EV landscape uh, changing to another vehicle I'm very excited of course to be finally owning a Tesla Model 3 um, as you heard, it's something that I've been, uh, well, I mean, that's how I got into this EV business to begin with, even though I do it as a cause, but I got passionate because of what Elon announced back in uh, April, March 31st, uh, 2016, kind of got me on this path. So I'm very happy to have that. 
and get rid of a tailpipe following my own motto and get into a really to facilitate that I need a longer range EV and I love the Leaf had no issues with it but it was time to increase the range and we were fortunate to have a lot of equity in the Leaf that we were able to do that and, and be able to financially get into this at this point in time where we couldn't a couple of years ago three three four years ago so uh, thanks very much for watching this I hope you found it helpful now what I plan to do in addition to the regular news uh, shows and everything else that I do is I'm going to do these little episodes called Tesla timeouts or Tesla timeout and basically I'll just feature stuff about you know me going through the Model 3 and my experiences similar to what I did on the Leaf. I'm also going to do some product reviews. I've had some companies reach out to me and say hey you know um, we've got all this Tesla stuff that we can send you as these accessories so I've got a couple of uh, product review shows that I'll do and I'll keep them short you know only like you know maybe five minutes something like that just quick little episodes I'll feature some products I've, I've purchased a bunch of little accessories for the Model 3 that I'm going to slowly add to the vehicle and I'll show you what I purchased as well maybe some recommendations there and then whatever else just you know things that I can think of as I as I uh, on this new journey so again thanks everybody for watching thanks everybody for uh, subscribing on YouTube and for commenting I'd love to hear your comments what do you think about me finally getting into the Tesla domain and uh, into this new chapter of my EV life so thanks for that again a humble thanks to patreon supporters you know who you are everybody stay safe and until the next show i'll see you when i see you take care and bye-bye